Hello, my artist name is Zoelle. I am nearing graduation from Western Kentucky University with a bachelor's in fine arts focusing on studio sculpture. I began my journey to this destination straight out of high school. I dropped out due to a trauma and after a seven year gap, I am thrilled to be so near completion. Art as a means of communication was introduced to me after a childhood trauma. The therapeutic space for finger painting has borne what is my current work. My focus still in expressing that which combines many aspects of my experiences and how mental health impacts myself and humanity. The language gifted to heal in therapy has allowed me to explore the full ripple effect that occurs due to each action experienced or performed. As my work is spawned via art therapy, my beginnings were rarely inclusive of outside influencers. While I enjoyed many artists such as Pablo Picasso, Frida Kahlo, Vincent van Gogh, Dale Chihuly, and Salvador Dali, my drive to create was of selfish needs as I sought to release feelings that I had no safe space to express. Only since my return to school have I been able to make space for a deeper understanding of the reasons these artists and many others create. In this reattempt, I have been able to find similarities in discovering many more artists like me emerging through a need to express self and the impact of society. To begin discussing my work, there are some from before my gap in education. Reunited Self brings an embodied focus of how my presentation of self as cool and collected is contrasted with my inner self's turmoil. This was painted mostly with my fingers and features various textures, the rough and smooth creating another layer of contrast, just as life is never so simple as a single complexity. The next is Soul Trees, a piece drenched in layers of gloss, paint between each creating depth as well as distorting the image. So often in my life, I find an environment so enriched with stimuli that I fail to see the forest for the trees. All of her is a piece I created while struggling with the concept of being forced to work from a nude model. At the time, a sexual trauma was freshly imprinted, and the last thing I was seeking was exposure to a stranger's nudity. Luckily, in the middle of my conversation with the professor, I opened a tangerine to find this beautifully representative image. Here, I built up the texture with the layers, leaving the moist sections gloss covered and the center and edges matte to indicate my dry truths. This piece is titled Rain Down the Drain and was created during a domestically abusive relationship. The rainbow developed within color contrast alongside the black to white grayscale is representative of me attempting to reach joy through old pastimes but being stuck in restricted spaces of dullness and isolation. It features pieces of my paint palette left over from my college coursework. These are cut into various sizes, swirling in their own delightful mixtures, and stand for pieces of joy that come from bumps in the road as opposed to a healthy and happy relationship which seems to develop blissful connection continually. They are contained, separate, and never the same swirl twice. This piece is heavily glossed to create space for my grief's release. Alas, only pain embodied in this artwork's flourish. Fired form is relief created my first semester back in college. It embodies the feminine form being warped through the fires of transformation. This return to education brought with it a new embodiment of my trauma, fibromyalgia. The imagery implies more than just physical pain. It brings in the reality of rebirthing itself, destruction through awareness. The first semester was full of triggers I was unable to predict. Seeing the truth of how I engaged and communicated, burned me with each interaction. Rainbow's Relief is the same linoleum print with a new flavor. The fresh stretch brought me towards an old solution, yoga. The rainbow is dripped watercolor over the ink and expresses the cooling effect of the embodied and conscious movement. The physical awareness granting more self-control, but also creating a way to release the tears I had held on to for so many years. The next piece dives deeper into color theory while embodying the playfulness I had lost over the years of strife in an attempt to remain afloat. 
as the rainbow drops is a print created by inking plexiglass followed by dripping alcohol mixed with ink. These drops bring in color theory, which illustrates the delight I found in creating it. Even joy can cause tears, especially when so much was kept internalized and silent as a means of survival. This four plate print is known as shifted perspective. It utilizes three primary colors with a final defining line layered on top. The idea was to maximize the use of the color wheel while applying it to the reality that is a person's choice to shift perspectives. Life might look nicer with rose-colored glasses, but how can we learn without staring at our darkest hours with critical observation? This weaving began in my first attempt at schooling, starting out as a long strip of fabric that displayed color contrast over the span of nearly seven feet as the bow grows demanded to be sculpted. It was through this piece that I found myself beginning to become entranced with spacious representation. The color contrast aspect continuing to relate to my internal battles of being who I sought to be over how I allowed my survival mechanisms to become embodied. Transmuted Depressive Wave is a weaving inspired by finding a set of warp threads prepped by a recently lost weaver. Jackie Luber's work had always been entrancing to me and the opportunity to merge our creativity burst forth the ocean itself. Depression being something I struggled with as a standard trauma response when I had the opportunity to learn from her, even still as I slowly worked through the stored past. The Driftwood Mermaid, a mere chance discovery, her tail half glass smoothed by the tides, each pearl holding the light of hope, the cleansing nature of water washing over Grant's. The sea foam ready to carry her back to her depths, and yet she floats. This illustrates the truth of grief. It comes in waves, and we have the option to sink or float. I find releasing the struggle against the easiest way to shift into the flow of life. From paint built up to weavings of wire shaped, now comes the traditional sculptural mediums. Seashells is a piece carved from plaster and is wired into a wave-like form. The sea life displayed mimics the change in the spiral of time from birth to degradation. Each aspect is connected and yet distant, every twist in turn leading its way to another event while allowing space to process what's necessary to grow. Nesting bone plays in the same material, but pushes into the truth of fragility. The very structure of self pushes so much weight onto these supports. Yet the bone's very nature is fragile and breakable. The two figures hold the whole and connected versus the broken and yet present. My mindset still focused at becoming whole and returning to the original self as I started to realize the beauty of being broken and still persevering as a new being entirely. From this concept of accepting what is in a space of embraced beauty comes ego's evolution. The exploration of wood through laminated plywood allowed me an accidental birth of a torso. This embraces a reality I have embodied through many experiences in life, both of trauma and relief. The deep blue glue represents the way sadness binds me while in spaces it drips out. By majority, the self growth and experiences are dominantly present. Dandelioness is a cardboard exploration of my masking to survive, masking my true emotions and needs to be accepted in society. My attempts to hide my pains creating a beast of its own. The monocle displayed relays back to the concept of perspective change being available, though not necessarily granting 2020 vision. This beautiful beast is made entirely from trash collected. Her little Debbie nose points to my seeking sweeter spaces to inhibit, as if the beast was not just behind it. Not many have a preference for weeds, after all. The next piece continues the masking theme with a more personal inflection. My face cast as an imprint with the lioness opposite. Lined lioness is made of bronze, not only for color, but to hold space for the precious nature of the needed tool for survival. The tear coming from the inside eye symbolizes the weight of performance. The outside eyes 
reflect the love felt in the other, the focus that comes as a side effect of hyperarousal walking hand in hand with trauma. Eternal blossom is an aluminum piece in the center with a pearl embedded to represent the pure nature of seeking self-love. It has remnants of the blood lost in the process deep in its grooves. Surrounding it is satin of soft pink folds sewn and twisted to embody the vulnerable nature of flesh. The second layer of fabric plays with light and shade as the deep red velvet folds represent the blood as a necessary luxury of life. The fur that is wired on with pearls symbolizes the sacrifices needed to pursue the journey of embracing self. Nothing is harder to swallow than the pain passing behaviors that becomes automatic in instances of long-term trauma exposure.